All right, hello everybody. The purpose of this video tonight is going to be because we're seeing entirely too many people with large platforms still using the wrong timestamp. I don't know if they're getting their information. Well, I know they're not getting their information straight from the website or straight from the footage because if they were, it would have this media player. And the ones that are misquoting the timestamps, when they're showing footage, you'll see that you don't see this media player with it. Now, there are some videos that have the correct timestamp that does, doesn't have the media player, but unless you know everything of the footage and you've seen it all for yourself, you don't know which ones are correct or which ones are not correct. And there are many good people out there making good videos that are just misled. It's not that they're deliberately passing on the false information. They're just been misled. And so tonight I'm going to show you Kanika's tracks with the real official timestamp. Not the left, not the right. You're going to see right here in the bottom little window here. This is the real timestamp. This time comes from the internet, the same like our cell phones do. Whenever, even when the time changes, our cell phones automatically update. That's the way that this system is set up. Now, for the cameras that have a timestamp over here, what that is is kind of like with our microwaves when you lose power or something and your clock is blinking and you go over there and you set the time. Now, if somebody sets the time right, okay, great. If they didn't, then it's gonna have the wrong time on it. That is the camera clock, depending on if anybody bothered to set the clock right or set it properly, whether or not it matches up. That's why you'll see on a lot of footage, you'll see this one an hour ahead, you'll see this side 13, I mean an hour behind, or 13 hours ahead. There's one that's got a 30 minute difference. It's never consistent. I believe this one is consistent, but to be on the safe side, this right here is the real time. No matter what anybody says. All right? So we're gonna, what we're, right now it's 107.47. You're gonna see car headlights come right here. You're gonna see Kanika drive up this way, come around, come out this way, and she's going to park over here somewhere. And then I'm going to fast forward it so we can see them walk by so we can save time. Okay? Here we go. There's the car lights. There they go that way. Security booth is down here. And by the way, whether or not Bree Bree had the keys for a good part of the night or whatever. The car is never seen leaving this parking lot until after five in the morning when they go to take it back to Kanika's mom, Teresa. Okay, now they're coming on right here. You can see they're gonna veer off that way to park. Okay, let's fast forward. You know they gotta do their little primping ever. I believe at this point I've already called Irene because the sign for the $200 ticket fine or whatever is way back over here. It should be coming up. Bravery, Maya, Monifa, Kanika. They're all on their cell phones. Okay. They exit out of the screen. It's 111.57. The next camera that we see pick them up 
This is Southwest Entry. It says 112.59. You're going to walk up here. This is called the Visibility Bar. Sit out of the scene at 113.23. The next camera that'll pick them up is called the Food Court Hall West. It's 113.53. We're going to see them walk through up here. Through the, there they are. They're going to go down here and they're going to step down onto the Food Court Hall. This is one of those cameras that they chopped up into several thousand pieces. So we're actually going to pick them up twice on this camera. It goes out at 113.52. You'll see them just stop right here. Okay, then at 113.53, see so it picks them back up and then they vanish because according to the rules the camera doesn't pick them up anymore that's at 114.21 okay this is called the visibility camera but it's labeled in the file as east uh, well, what is it called east entry I think anyway it's 113.42 this is right before they're going to step down. And despite what everybody says, the three girls are going to go right. Bree Bree's the only one that goes left. She's going to go right. See, there she goes. Okay. That's at 114.19. At that point, when we get to the lobby camera, you should see Bree Bree in the, in the lobby. This is the restaurant camera. 113.47. Same walk, same everything. Now the camera that looks in this way, I don't have it on here because it doesn't pick them up. They walk too close to, to the edge over there for the camera to pick them up. This is the food court hall camera. 113.47. See how they're going to be, they're walking too close over here for that other camera that shows that way. It doesn't pick their heads up. By the time Kanika gets on this side, it's already past the view of that. Okay, and they exit out. 114.12. Fourteen, thirteen. This is Bree Bree's head. See how she's the only one that walks over there. Says something to the front desk. Turns around and goes back and meets up with them to catch the elevator. Now I know I'm going to have people come back and say, oh, but on the news it said 223 or 225, whatever. But it wasn't on this media player, was it? Because it was converted. When you convert to another format so that they can upload it, move it around, use it for their own equipment, it goes back and it uses the camera clock 
That's why you saw that time. When you convert it, it drops the media player, therefore it drops the real time. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time arguing with people about it. It is what it is. This is the real time. Just like the real time on your cell phone from the internet. Okay? Now it says 324.58. The elevator doors opened up. I'm going to see her walk out. Now, you don't see anything here. But I want you to watch something. I believe the hotel gave this clip to the media because this is the short version this is not the longer version where this elevator door is going to open back up and I think they did it for a reason see how it's got a reflection here of the white looks like a white shirt mind you the buttons are on this side over here the mirrors are on all three sides. I believe, in my opinion, that the hotel did this because they saw something weird. They saw something that maybe they can't speak on because then they'll get their own selves in trouble, whatever the case may be. But there's a reason that they gave us this clip for the media that has these four minutes in it. Okay. Now, this is set. It's gonna. I got it here set for two thirty-two. See down here two thirty-two. But I set it like that because I want you to see it's gonna make a jump, and that's why Kanika just pops in right here because according to their reasoning, is there was nothing happening, so the camera was not recording. I don't buy it, but hey. Until we can prove otherwise, it is what it is. 325. I'm one that believes that the, you cannot do the cutting and pasting and all on this footage in this EXE format. I'm one to believe what Mike Mecca proved, that you can delete sections of this. A lot of what y'all saw was copies of copies of copies was why it was so distorted. And of course, the ceiling lights that they have inset into the ceiling does not help on the shadows. All right, 326.12 is what she's walked out. I got 326.03 on the next camera. This is the lower level stairs hall. Eleven, twelve. There she is. It's the reason why it's so clear. It's not because it's edited. It's because this is straight from the case file. It is not copied of copied of copied. It's not a phone being held over another screen recording, which is a lot of what we were all given by YouTube in the beginning. Well, not by YouTube, but by channel creators that were on YouTube. Okay, let's see when she stops, when she disappears. Oh. Jump. Oh. 326.47, all right. This one's gonna jump also, so watch the clock. This is the lower level West Hall, 327, okay. From here, she's going to go straight through a set of double doors and then another set of double doors into the East Kitchen, which is on, the, we're on the lower level here still. Here, I see her head already swelling, which is caused by a head injury. 
All right, three twenty-six, thirty-four. You're gonna see her come from through here, and then pass through over here, which I showed on that other video of mine. You know what it all looked like back there. That is the office for this kitchen. That's a glass. The one section of this where you see the guys changing clothes back there, it's just a guy he's putting on his uniform for the catering that they were doing. This is also the kitchen you see Jay Money come through also, walking around taking pictures. Okay, I guess I had it too far back. No, this is not a hospital for organ transplants and all that other stuff we've heard people say. I will say she looks very weird walking through there. Okay. Now what she did, she's going to go through and she's going to make a circle around the other kitchen. She comes around through there and then she's going to come, what well, we pick her up on the camera, she's going to walk through right here. Three twenty-eight thirteen. Three twenty-eight nineteen. She's exiting this camera. Back it up a little. Sorry about that. We should see her head pass right through here to exit out of this kitchen. There she goes. Now when she exits out this kitchen, she's going to go to the left, down to the bathroom hallway. She comes through the double doors over here and she's going to go this way. It says 328.54. And for all those people running around sharing that screenshot of her standing over here looking like she has short hairs, you see she still has long hair. It was just a swing of the hair with this lighting. It didn't pick up all of her hair. Like right there, it just did it again. It's not that she has short hair or that it's edited. Now, I will say this much. You go back, and I've always defended Miranda Morgan's recording. But the only issue I have with it is you see these doors? The hinges are on this side. Them boys look like they're jumping through the wall right here because they can't be jumping through the hinge door because the door is closed. People that are saying, oh, this was a reflection of something over here, you need to see on another video that I've done how far back these picture frames actually sit from the end. There is no way that it's picking up something over there. It's picking her up. Now, a lot of people don't like, you know, what I have to say. Oh, you're always debunking everything. You just this, that, and the third. No. I'm about the facts. And these are the facts. Yes, I used to think somebody had a hole of her right here. But I put this thing up on a big screen TV, and that's her own hand holding onto that doorway. It's not somebody else's hand. All right. Now we're at 331 12. Allegedly, she's going to go up this way, past the stack of chairs, turn left by the time clock, and climb up the flight of stairs, which 
all those cameras down there, which yes, there are multiple cameras down there, allegedly weren't working or were not even listed. Now we're in the upper kitchen, 332-33. I've had many, many people ask me my opinion on what happened over here. My opinion off of everything that I've seen is that when she walks back there, not that anybody's back there with her, not that anybody's grabbing her, my opinion is that she turns around and walks back out. That's why the time stops and jumps all the way to the evening time. That's my of what happened. But what I can say is what I've shown you here in this video, these are the real times. For anybody to continue to say other time frames, I wouldn't listen to them. I'm sorry. I certainly wouldn't want to associate myself with somebody who is deliberately passing along false information when it has been proven time and time again what the true timestamp is. One more very important thing I need to show y'all. For all you channels, content creators, Facebook group members that are saying that these timestamps on the lives and the Snapchats were edited, you're wrong. You have screenshots taken by people who live in different parts of the country. Before you dismiss me, you need to try it yourself. I guarantee you, I'm, this is a fact. It's been proven time and time again in the groups when I've shown it. All you gotta do is get somebody that you might talk to online that lives in a different time zone than you. Y'all both take a screenshot of the same post or something that has the timestamp on it. Not a timestamp that says last week or a day ago, but the a time on it. And yeah, I guarantee you, if you live in different time zones, y'all exchange those screenshots, you're going to have different timestamps on it. Irene's live was at 136. She lives in Chicago. This is the time zone. Everybody in this yellow is going to have the same timestamp if they took a screenshot of her live. Now this is, of course, you had to be around back then to do that. All these other time zones, that's what time you're going to see on the timestamp on those screenshots that people took. So in other words, if you got somebody out in California who took a screenshot of her live, this is the timestamp it's going to show. And then they're going to come back, depending on the type of person they are, and say, oh, look, it was edited, blah, blah, blah. No, it wasn't. Your screenshot is from your time zone. Okay, same thing with TY's Live. It was at 2.34. Not at 12.34, not at 1.34, not at 3.34. At 2.34. Like I said, before you dismiss me, you need to go try it. Because, especially if I find out that you watched this video, and you didn't go try it, or you did whatever you want. Either way, if you watch my video, and you continue to put out the wrong timestamps, I'm going to call you out on it. We're two years into this, and plus some. It's ridiculous to be going over the same details over and over, and having the same people push false information. Now, give me a little proof. This is a screenshot from Monifa's page of Irene's Live. It says 1.36 a.m. Here's your West Coast. 12.36 p.m. I mean, 11.36 p.m. on Friday. <laughs> I was gonna say 11:36. See, 
I got somebody from out in California that did that with me. So there's my proof. Now, you still don't want to believe me? Show me a screenshot that has the minutes different. There's not any. It's only the hours that are different. Why? Because it was taken in a different time zone. Her life, you watch it over here in New York or in Florida, is going to say 2.36 on it. That doesn't mean that she didn't do it at 1.36 her time. If you live outside of the central time zone, you need to calculate the difference for your time difference. Period. And stop spreading the false information about, oh, it was edited. Because it's not. Again, show me one that's got the minutes different. I'm sorry if I sound upset, but we're over two years into this. And everybody's hooping and hollering that they want the case reinvestigated. When y'all can't even come up with the right content to, to, to say, oh, this or that's wrong. Because... We can't go to any authorities and say, hey, uh, this is edited, when we've got the wrong information. And it's not their fault we have the wrong information. It's our own fault. Because we're not doing our own research. We're listening to other people. We're not getting our own screenshots. We're taking it from other people. How many channels out there right now have screenshots that have all these different times on it, and they think it's edited? It's not. It's not. And it's very frustrating going over the same thing over and over 